Ronnie. After about three hours, I finally got it on a trailer. Been a hell of a job all by myself. Didn't do my back any good, but so what? That's where it was. You can see that was one of the culprits for then the other, I'll show you in a minute, but this is the leftovers. Have to take the fender off, the inner fender out, take that wheel off. Both wheels were locked on there. I had to beat them off with that pipe over there. I didn't hurt the wheels though, but Plus the steering is locked up. I could not steer it. I had to position it just right for it to go up on the trailer. I just barely got enough winch to put it on there. But that's just, I couldn't, that's the best I could do. But I got her tied down good. She ain't going nowhere. I mean, when I tow, tow Coopzilla, half the back wheel sticks off the trailer, but, oh. Looks like a stocker and a run round track. Had to put oil on the one ramp there so the wheel would slide easier when I was pulling it up on there. But it's it's on there and heading to hot rod heaven. I don't know what's gonna happen with it. But it is a SS. Uh, it's got pretty low miles on it because it was wrecked in 1979. I'll probably just go ahead and pull the rest of the front end off. There's a the arm and everything over there is bent up. All right. Go home and see what I can do with it.